Being a midfielder is one thing, but controlling acres of space like Alexis Mack Alistar is a totally different thing, and it just makes you wonder what a normal day in his life might look like. So without further ado, let's dive into Alexis Mack Alistar's weird lifestyle, fairy tale relationships, and spending habits. This is Alexis Mack Alistar's lifestyle. Alexis McAllister was born on the 24th of December 1998 in Santa Rosa La Pampa, Argentina, one of the smallest provincial capitals of the country. His father, Carlos Javier McAllister, was a former footballer who later delved into sports politics, rising to become the Secretary of Sports for Argentina from 2015 to 2018. His mother, Silvina Rila, is an accomplished businesswoman who established and runs Rila Mac, one of the most profitable clothing franchise companies in Argentina today. Alexis had two older brothers, Francis and Kevin, who are professional footballers in their own rights. Ale, as he is fondly called, had a very interesting childhood. Born into a family of footballers, he developed a keen interest in their game at a very tender age. His parents nurtured this love and groomed him and his brothers along this noble path without compromising their education and active participation in the family business at the same time. The family moved to Buenos Aires, the nation's capital, when Alexis was a teenager. This was where he spent most of his time developing his technical skills, looking to emulate his idols Carlos Tevez and Sergio Aguero. Now 24 years old, here's what his career has turned out to be so far. Prolific and versatile in all areas of the midfield and rock solid in every sense of the word, Alexis has become a global force to reckon with. His club started off with Club Social y Deportivo Park before he joined the youth setup of Argentinos Juniors in 2016 and made his professional debut at age 18 alongside his two older brothers, Francis and Kevin. Having all three children play on the same team on the same day was such a delight to their parents. In January 2019, Alexis signed a four-and-a-half-year contract with English Premier League club Brighton & Hove Albion, but as part of the deal, he was loaned back to Argentinos Juniors for the remaining part of that season. In June of the same year, Alexis went on loan again to another local side, Boca Juniors, where he carved his name in gold, scoring the club's only goal on his debut. At the end of his loan spree, Alexis returned to Brighton and played his first game for the club in March 2020, just before the Premier League went on break. The impressive number 10 has since played in more than 90 Premier League games and has reached double figures for goals for Brighton this season. On the international scene, Alexis earned his debut for Argentina in 2019. In 2021, he was named in the Argentinian squad for the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. He was also part of the team that lifted the FIFA World Cup trophy in 2022. The midfielder has achieved many other international and club honors, but let's skip that and see what's going on in his personal life. The World Cup hero isn't married yet, but has a girlfriend, Camila Mayan, who is an Instagram influencer, YouTuber, and model. The duo have been together since their teenage years and are still madly in love with each other. At one time, Carmi took to her Instagram page to say, you can find everything in one place. Alexis and Camila regularly share photos of themselves on Instagram. Looks like love is indeed a beautiful thing. It wouldn't be surprising to see them raising kids in the future. Coming from a closely knit family of footballers, Alexis enjoys spending time with his family a lot. He is very much involved with his family business, and living in England hasn't stopped him from being a brand ambassador to Rilamac, the name of which was coined from the last names of his mom and dad. Alexis loves to drink Matea tea, a traditional South American caffeine-rich infused herbal drink. He takes this tea daily, a habit he humorously says is a little weird. Alexis loves the seaside life, where he is regularly spotted chilling with his girlfriend. Having seen his lifestyle, now take a guess at what his properties look like. The Seagulls midfielder owns a Mini Cooper S and a Porsche 911. The 911 costs $120,000 and comes with new LED lights, a wide LCD, an automatic rear spoiler, Valrona leather trim, and an executive air suspension. This sleek car can hit 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Still only 24, we can expect to see more cars in his collection pretty soon. It looks like Alexis isn't really big on properties because we do not usually see him flaunting his wealth on social media. He lives with his girlfriend in the Sussex city of Brighton, where they enjoy exploring the south coast. And what's behind the ink on Alexis's left hand? He's got a bit of everything, but more of his family. As a Christian, you would see a representation of his faith. 
Also, he has a roulette tattooed on his hand, even though he says he doesn't like gambling. On the roulette, he has all the jersey numbers he and his brothers have ever used in all the teams they've played for. What's more, he has the names of his parents and brothers tattooed, the picture of a little boy holding a ball, and also the dates of his various transfers and promotions which he says inspires him at his lowest moments. This gives no room for self-doubt. You already know this guy won't brag, but do you have any idea of his net worth? Alexis is worth $12 million. As a professional footballer, he earns a salary of £2,600,000 per season playing for Brighton. His weekly salary is around £50,000. Apart from his football contracts, the World Cup superstar also earns from endorsements, bonuses, and sponsorship posts. He is an Adidas-endorsed player and will wear the Adidas X Speed Flow 1 football boots all through this season. As a promising young man with great potential, Alexis is set to expand his frontiers and get involved in charity work in a more structured setting. Given his entrepreneurial background, this won't be so difficult to implement, but as of now, there are no confirmed reports to indicate that the star is associated with any charity organization. The Argentine midfielder is not without his own fair share of controversies, the most prominent one being the X-rated message he left his wag on IG a few moments after winning the World Cup in Qatar. Her initial post was, I love you champion, no words, we did it, let's go to Argentina, to which he responded, I love you, let's well, his comment was in Spanish and probably should not have been taken literally given his sheer excitement over the victory, but what do you reckon? Another area of controversy is the relationship between his name and country. Many fans often wonder why Alexis Mac Allister plays for Argentina when his full name suggests otherwise. The reason is that he was born and raised in Argentina and chose to play for them. His ancestors originally lived in the town of Donabate in Ireland and Fife in eastern Scotland, both in the UK, from where they migrated to Argentina in search of greener pastures in 1865. In the end, his decision to play for Argentina turned out to be favorable because you wouldn't fancy him winning the World Cup with Ireland or Scotland. If Mac Allister wasn't a soccer player, he'd probably be a musician. He and his brothers had two favorite songs when they were little. The first song had to do with three little pigs, which they used to describe themselves, while the second song was about three brothers who played football together in Real Madrid, a dream which came to pass not in Real Madrid but in Argentinos Juniors. It might also surprise you to know that Alexis doesn't smoke, drink alcohol, gamble, or flirt with ladies to the best of our knowledge. He prefers to read, surf the internet, travel, or watch movies in his free time. His other hobbies include photography, horse riding, and watching the sunset. We've seen him grow to become one of the most prolific midfielders this season, and by all indications, his best is yet to come. The Argentine is certainly set to take the footballing world by storm, but it might not happen in Brighton because the European big guns are out to get him for themselves. But for now, let's keep enjoying his blistering performances.